when you're living in your car, your routine is the most important thing that you need to focus on. Because a routine keeps your day structured, it keeps you going. And if you don't do that, you're going to find yourself in a very bad place mentally and physically. When you're in survival mode, your routine at least keeps you functioning at a certain level, which is needed to keep your sanity and to keep your momentum in life. There's three parts of life. There's survival, there's exploration, and there is building. When you're living in your car or van, you are pretty much defaulted to surviving or exploring. So if you aren't in the middle of a road trip, if you're not traveling to see destinations, then you're just in survival. But even if you're traveling to see destinations, you need to still make sure to stick to your routine. And even if you're traveling to different states, you need to still look at where are the nearest Planet Fitnesses, where is, where's the nearest gym, so that I can uh, still maintain my workout, my hygiene, the routine keeps you doing the things you need to do to function at a high level. And sometimes I ask myself, at this point, why don't I just build? Because if I'm not going to really explore, the only thing I'm doing by living in my car is staying in survival mode. And survival mode, while it can be exciting and, and it does release adrenaline, because the, the human or, or the mammal, the, the animal, when they're in survival mode, they're a, there's a high level of awareness, okay? Because you need to have it to survive, okay? So or what happens a lot of times when you live a sedentary uh, life in an apartment house, whatever, is that you don't really need to be in survival mode because you have running water, you have electricity, you have food, you have everything you want, and you can pretty much lay on your bed all day. You, there's no need to survive. You already survived, you know? So... Again, you know, the basics of car living and the basics of survival is the structured day. To keep your sanity, to keep your health, and to keep your well-being operating at a certain level. I remember reading a story about a bunch of coal miners that were trapped in a mine. Uh, like the the walls of the cave, they were in like this cave or whatever, mining uh, coal or whatever it was. I don't know what they were mining. And the cave had collapsed in on them. So these coal miners were trapped for days until people could dig them out. And the foreman, the leader of the um, crew, had structured the day where he still made his crew wake up on time. And in order to uh, simulate sunlight, they would run all their flashlights flashlights they would put all their lights on at like six o'clock in the morning and their flashlights would be like the sun rising and he would make the crew do certain basic tasks just to keep them doing something and at lunch they would still take lunch and at dinner they would still take dinner they would still go through the routine of the day because the foreman realized there's no way we can sit in this cave even if we have enough food and water for two, two weeks or whatever it's going to be and keep our sanity and keep our well-being without doing something, okay, without a routine. And this is what I'm telling you. You know, you still wake up at 6 a.m., you still go to the gym for working out for hygiene, you still eat at the same time intervals, uh, you still operate as if you were living in an apartment when you're living in a house, when you're living in a car. The only thing you don't operate at is the same level of comfort and convenience because you are in survival mode, you are not in building mode. And even when you're exploring, you still are in survival mode. You're still in a mode where, okay, that you have to be uh, cautious to keep your well-being, okay? Because just seeing new things, while that's exciting when you're exploring, it is not self-care. Self-care is not just exploring. I mean, self-care is still the hygiene, the workout, the eating at the same time intervals. This is very, very important if you're going to live on the road full-time, even for truck drivers. Many truck drivers, 
they become unhealthy because they're driving for long periods of time. They're not taking uh, certain breaks. They're not exercising. They're not, um, you know, functioning at a certain level because their their objective is just hold this to there. And many a times, they neglect taking certain breaks. They neglect uh, a routine because the the objection just becomes to drop off the load. And you know, they can still do that job, but you still need to take care of yourself, right? You're the load, you know, you are the bag, you know, per se, you know, I, I used to watch a guy with DoorDash videos and he used to always say, secure the bag. And he used to always say, don't forget you are the bag, secure yourself, you know? So, you know, self-care and this routine that I'm speaking of in this video, it's even more important when you're living on the road full-time or part-time in your car, van, or even RV. Uh, if you're not able to do this, uh, it's going to be a short-lived nomadic life. And um, it's really that and the grace of God is really what sustained me is that the level of discipline to at least uh, keep a level of structure that there's not just like this aimless focus to each day. There's a focus. There's a time management. There's a routine. And I, and I don't know, again, if I, I don't know if I'd recommend car living for most people. I probably wouldn't. Uh, I, at this point, I don't even know if I recommend it for myself. I'm struggling with it because, you know, like I say, you know, once you use car living as an avenue to get you to do what you want to do, whether it's uh, travel, whether it's to uh, save money, whether it's to relocate, then you have to ask yourself, what are you doing now? You know, it's, uh, and I'm asking myself that, but while I'm asking myself that, and while I'm being indecisive, I'm still taking care of myself as best I can waking up on time, going to the gym, eating at the same time intervals. Okay. This is what we're speaking of in this video. So, you know, just remember that on your journey because you're going to need it. Okay. Uh, don't leave yourself behind. Okay. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you to all my members. If you want to see more videos, look at my channel, check out my playlist, thousands of free videos. Uh, if you want to support the channel, click the blue join button. Uh, thank you. Gratitude to all my members. Uh, click the thumbs up on the way out. Uh, remember, keep showing up. Uh, remember, try to get up and move your body around every hour. Uh, drink more water. Uh, stay away from toxic uh, people, toxic places. Uh, as you um, navigate through life, uh, you have to mitigate risk. Uh, you have to take some risk, but you can't take every risk. Okay, And this is what we're speaking of. And... Um, you know, other than that, you know, show up. Why? Because if you don't show up, someone else is, someone else does. They take your spot. And then you're sitting there thinking the world can't go on without you. But the world goes on without any of us. No matter how smart, no matter how brave, doesn't matter. So, you know, if you think that because you don't show up, the world's going to stop spinning and everyone's going to say, you know, people care about you. They'll ask, like, you know, what happened? That was a great person. But, you know, look, you got you to show up. You know, you got to do what you got to do, okay? Uh, that's part of life, and, um, you know, you got to persevere, uh, the grace of God and hard work. So, all right, thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.